Hey guys, Chris, the Midwest Bass Hunter. Today I wanna to share with you five tips to get more fishing done when you're fishing. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell down there so you don't miss anything. All right guys, tip number one. Have a plan about the water that you're going to fish. So think about your conditions, think about what the weather's gonna be like, what the water might be like, you know, what time of year is it, what are the fish gonna be doing, so that when you get there, you already have something in mind and what on what you're gonna do. Um, obviously, you don't just have one plan, but have several, you know, backup plans. I like to think about what I think the fish are gonna be doing that time of year, what the weather might be doing, how the weather might cause me issues if I'm fishing from the bank or fishing from a boat or fishing from the kayak. Um, how is the wind, how is that gonna affect me? What is the sun gonna be like? So that I can figure out how to target the fish and also for ease of fishing. You know, sometimes um, you just kind of have to fish what the wind gives you because it can be challenging, you know, the wind conditions. So. That is something that I always do. Now, if I'm fishing a body of water that I already know, it's easy to make a plan, right? If it's a new body of water, something that I like to do is hop onto Google Earth and check that body of water out. And you can learn a lot from Google Earth. You know, what, what are the fishable areas? Where's the structure? A lot of that you're gonna be able to see uh, from that Google Earth satellite imagery. Uh, especially if you're fishing from the bank. If you're fishing from the bank, you know, you can have limited access and, and really be limited on what you can accomplish from the bank. So it's important to do a little scouting and research ahead of time so that you can uh, really maximize your time on the water. Number two, this one is super important. Pre-rig, okay? Don't have just random baits tied on. Revert to your plan. Look at, think about what your plan is and tie on the baits that you plan to fish. I actually enjoy it. I enjoy pre-rigging. It gives me time to kind of think about what I'm gonna do, go through my plan and um, maybe refine it a little bit. So uh, definitely do that. Tip number three. All right guys, bring multiple rods. Okay, so I used to be strictly a bank fisherman and a lot of times I brought one rod for the convenience of only carrying one rod. Uh, but what I did learn is I became a more rounded angler and I was, I was more, uh, you know, I had a lot more tools in my tool belt as far as tactics go. I learned that, yeah, I can take one rod and a lot of times you can get a versatile rod that you can do, you know, everything from topwater, spinnerbaits, soft plastics, jigging, you can do all that stuff with one rod. Um, but what I found out is it's nice to be able to, you know, if you go back to that plan, you got a plan, a primary plan, you got a backup plan, maybe a second backup plan. So if you got, if you can afford to take two or three rods, you can have those backup plans already tied on. So instead of going from uh, fishing with the bait, deciding you're gonna change, and then having to retie that bait, uh, cut that bait off and retie a new bait on, you can just pick up that other rod and go. Obviously, guys with big old bass boats, right? They got like 20 rods on the deck. We're not talking about that, but if you can have two or three rods, and even on my kayak, I might take four or five, um, I can have a lot of different stuff pre-rigged up and ready to go so that I don't waste time untying, you know, cutting a, a lure off and retying a different lure. Tip number four. Don't overload on tackle. Now, this might seem contradictory based on what I just said about bringing multiple rods, but don't go crazy on tackle. Right here, I've got a box full of jerk baits. I'm not gonna fish these jerk baits here. And even if I do, if there's an off chance I might fish a jerk bait, I should bring a couple of them instead of the whole kitchen sink, right? Don't bring every single thing with you. Now. If you're on a bass boat, great, bring everything. That's what, that's how you store your tackle, even on a kayak, right? I've got a bit, pretty big kayak and I've got a fair amount of tackle on here. I've got five of these boxes and I got a bag for soft plastics. But if I have a smaller kayak, just take and put a box together of the things you're gonna fish. Not too long ago, and I'll leave a link right up here to this video, I went to a pond where I had to cross a little creek 
in waders. I was in a much smaller kayak that I'd borrowed from someone. And uh, I brought, I did bring two rods, maybe three rods, two or three rods, but I only had one tackle box, just one of these. And I put a few items in there that I knew, you know, that was my plan. I was gonna fish with those items. Now there's a chance that my plan was bad and you know, I should have had X, Y, and Z bait and I didn't have that, but I was willing to risk it because if I would have went in there with a whole bunch of tackle, it would have been, it would have been a struggle. The other thing that I've noticed, and this, you know, maybe it's a personal thing, but if I have too much, too many options, sometimes I can get caught in that analysis paralysis, right? So I'm trying to figure out what the exact right presentation is. And not only that, maybe the exact right color of a certain type of bait. Whereas if I would just put the bait on, throw the bait, throw it again, I have a lot more opportunities to catch fish than trying to figure out what I'm gonna do to, uh, you know, try the next bait. This is especially important if you're on a just a short little trip, right? Tonight, I'm out here after work, so I've only got a couple hours to fish. So I can't come out here with every single thing that I've got and try to figure out, you know, what to do. I need to have a plan and try and execute that plan. That's gonna get me much more fishing time and probably better results. Tip number five. This might be the most important tip and uh, I did not do this tonight. Bring a lunch, okay, or bring something to eat. You never know, you might get on a good bite and stay out a little bit later than you planned. Or you get up early in the morning, you hit the lake, you think, yeah, I'll be fine, I'll just eat some snacks or whatever. Um, halfway through the day, you're starving, you leave to go get something to eat. Always bring something to eat and some water. I'm just, I live and die by that. You gotta have some, some sustenance on you because nothing's more frustrating than man, I'm really starving, I gotta go eat something. Then you gotta pack up and get out of there to go eat something. So I always bring something to eat and some water. Now I didn't bring anything with me tonight, but I had some food before I got here. Anyways guys, that's what I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as I said earlier, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time.